If you're looking for some low maintenance and evergreen shrubs to grow around your home or landscape, congratulations, you have now landed on the right video. Let's jump into it. So in the last low maintenance shrub video, we talked about the Hetz Midget Arborvitae. This is a really good compact shrub, but today I wanna to talk about a shrub that looks very similar that has came out since the Hetz Midget called Tater Tot Arborvitae. Again, Arborvitae is just a Western red cedar. Tater Tot grows at half the growth rate as Hetz Midget. So Hetz Midget is gonna be like a three foot by three foot shrub. Tater Tot's like a one and a half to two feet uh, tall and wide shrub. No pruning ever involved. It grows in a nice round compact habit. Again, this one came out from Proven Winters a couple years ago. I absolutely love it for the landscape or maybe you got some containers you need some little small petite shrubs in. This one is truly, truly petite and dwarf. These are also really great in part or full sun. Moving right along is the Heaven Scent Gardenia. Now this is just in a one gallon, that's why it looks very small. But Heaven Scent Gardenia is a compact gardenia. It's gonna get about two to three foot tall and wide. It is evergreen. And guess what else? It's an evergreen that blooms. Uh, beautiful white blooms will emerge in the spring. They're very fragrant. <laughs> that's why I love to plant this one uh, near the house because you're walking outside and you smell that aroma. Mm -mm, there's not much sweeter smells than a gardenia. Now this next shrub, I am super pumped up about. All right, so moving right along to a gold shrub, we're not gonna talk about Golden Globe Arborvitae because we talked about it in the last video. Instead, what I wanna talk about is a similar shrub that's Anna's Magic Ball Arborvitae. And the main difference is, again, it's gonna grow at half the growth rate is the Golden Globe. Anna's Magic Ball only gets about 15 inches tall and wide. It starts off as a very chartreuse green in the spring and summer. And here we are in the month of December. It's a lot cooler now. And you can see it's got this goldish tone to it. Very pretty, very low maintenance shrub. Never needs pruning and grows in a nice little globe shape. Let's move along. All right, so again, on the last video, I'm sorry I keep referring to the last video, but I got some new shrubs that uh, may be a little bit more compact and low maintenance than the shrubs I mentioned before. We talked about the gold mop or the gold thread cypress. This one's gonna get four to five feet tall, but since then we've gotten in a shrub called King's Gold Cypress. And they look completely identical, but the thing about the King's Gold, it's gonna grow about half the growth rate it's more of like a three by three foot um, evergreen. Also, it doesn't develop a very strong leader that's going to take it up to the four to five foot range. Instead, it just kind of grows in this mounding shape. It's very pretty, looks just like this year round, and it looks really good with something like a blue star juniper where you have a, a blue and slightly different texture, something that'll stay lower growing. This will get a little bit bigger. Imagine those two in a landscape together. That would be absolutely gorgeous. I almost walked by this gym right here. This is Pasia Abe's little gym, no pun intended. This is a dwarf Norway spruce, and this has been grafted on a standard, which is kind of makes it a tree form. So you can find these in tree form, and you can also find these with just the shrub form. So this is a very dwarf, low maintenance conifer that's gonna only get, you know, maybe two foot by two foot. It's very slow growing. Evergreen in the spring when you have that new growth, it just looks beautiful. And this is just kind of something different, unusual that you're not gonna see in just everybody's yards. All right, let's back up to one of my favorite compact hollies. This is a dwarf inkberry holly called Gem Box. This was a shrub came out uh, from Proven Winters. It looks kind of similar in the spirit of low maintenance to the soft touch holly, which we've talked about before. Soft touch is like a, a mounded, lower growing holly. This is actually only a two to three foot shrub also, but it's just a little more columnar looking, very formal looking. Uh, I've seen these grown in containers absolutely beautiful but they also make a really great hedge or something like that in a landscape great for borders again evergreen part to full sun and very easy and low maintenance backing up to one of my favorite little dwarf compact shrubs it's the cryptomeria 
Globosa, also known as a Japanese cedar. This is a very slow growing evergreen, probably gonna get in the neighborhood of three foot to three foot tall and wide, but it can get bigger than that over time easily maintained to two foot if you wanted it to be it's got a fun little frilly texture the top is just a little dull looking because it is december we've had a lot of heavy frost but you know throughout the year it is going to be a beautiful lighter green color again globe shape would pair really well with some gold shrubs or blue shrubs i love this one just because it is easy slow growing and low maintenance all right up next i have for you a pine, a Swiss mountain pine. We don't talk about pines a lot on this channel, but I want to start talking about them because look how awesome this Pinus Mugo Pamillo is. It does look like in the pod it has a columnar shape, but it is actually a spreading conifer. It's going to get about three foot tall, four foot wide. I love the dark green short needles on this. In the springtime when this thing candles, it is absolutely beautiful i could see this maybe in a rock garden or just along a border of a landscape this thing is gorgeous and i think that we should incorporate more pines into our landscapes and since we want to include more pines in our landscapes let's talk about the blue shag pine pinus strobus blue shag this thing is absolutely beautiful because you just don't see a lot of blue conifers or evergreens for that matter the blue shag is a um, irregular but more globe-shaped uh, conifer. It's got very uh, beautiful long blue needles. It's also going to look, again, very beautiful in the springtime when it candles. This one's going to get about three foot by three foot. Great and part to full sun and well-draining soil. All right, so we talked about a couple dwarf pines. Let's talk about a couple dwarf spruces that I like. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. What we have right here is Picea omarica nana. Picea being spruce, omarica being Serbian, nana being dwarf. So what we have right here is a dwarf Serbian spruce. Now on the tag, this is gonna say it's gonna get five to seven foot tall, but not really. You can easily just keep this little leader cut out, keep it to two to three feet, or just let it grow up in a small little tree fashion. This is definitely evergreen. It's kind of a grayish green. And again, it's a spruce, so that's so cool because it's not just like a, you know not knocking the japanese cedar but this is very different very very uh beautiful and it makes me want to talk about another spruce that i really like let's back on up to here this is the picea pungens globosa again picea spruce pungens blue what am i saying globe blue spruce picea pungens globosa all right this is a basically a colorado blue spruce but in a short uh, form globe action it's going to get about four feet by four feet pretty slow growing beautiful sharp blue needles look how beautiful that is again you don't see a lot of blue evergreens and i think this would just look absolutely positively brilliantly gorgeous in a landscape I needed that. Hey, did I hear you say something? What's that? You want some evergreens for shade? Well, come on over here. What we right have right here is Podocarpus Mackay or Mackie. I don't know which one it is. All right, this is gonna grow about two feet wide, six feet tall. It's kind of like the sky pencil holly I showed you last time, but not so formal. This one's a little more wild, grows in shade or sun. Again, evergreen. It's kind of got some tropically looking needles. And I actually love it, but if you don't love it, let me show you another shrub for shade. Let's just back on up over here. Okay, this is Pierre's Japonica Katsura. What I love about this is in the spring, burgundy and, and reddish new growth emerges. And then this time of year, yes, you still get evergreen foliage. It's a little more dull looking, but you see these little bell-shaped buds. This is actually gonna go ahead and bloom out this coming spring and it'll be pink flowers it's absolutely gorgeous this is a really good evergreen for shade and it's only going to grow about three foot tall and three foot wide now we're hopping right along to our next shrub i really love this one because it is super good for a specimen but also it stays very compact this is nana gracilis uh, hinoki 
It's like a dwarf Hinoki cypress. If you see Nana, that's just Latin for dwarf. This is gonna grow anywhere from three to six foot tall. It's very irregular shape, but it also kind of grows pyramidal, making it perfect for a, a low growing or compact, low maintenance specimen. This looks very good on its own. It's very slow growing, emerald green foliage, part to full sun, just make sure it's in well draining soil. Is your landscape a little down? Are you kind of feeling sad about the plants you currently have? Well, I have great news. I have Picea pungens, the blues. Picea pungens, the blues is just a weeping Colorado blue spruce. It is very unusual, could make a very great specimen. Uh, you can just take this leader right here and you train it as you want. You can train it up to about six foot tall and then train it to go back down or you could keep it at this height and train it to go back down. You just kind of be the artist. It's going to keep this blue color year round and again very slow growing just make sure it's in well-drained soil and part to full sun all right folks that's going to wrap up this video i hope i gave you some ideas and inspiration on some low maintenance evergreens hey do you want to see more content like this and you kind of like our channel and you want to see some more of it would you consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell? That way you get updated every time we release videos like this one. Go ahead, I'll give you that opportunity right now. And until next time, become a plant person.